Hi again. Uh, let's continue with our, our movie project. Um, in the last video, we set up Prepare for Segway, and we passed our movie object to our details view, and we're seeing the name. Um, let's try and set up the image now. So I'm going to go to the detail view, and if you recall, actually, let's take a quick look at Movie Manager, because this is going to tell us how to do this, okay? Um, we're going to need to load that movie from the internet, and we can load the movie the same way that we did it here. Essentially, we're going to have to create a URL from a string, and then use URL session to load the movie data. Okay, so you can see whenever we do a data task, it returns a data right here, and that actually can be image data, okay? So, so let's, let's do that, right? Um, I'm going to go to Detail View Controller, and what we want to do is we want to load the movie here. And if you recall, my um, movie object has two properties, image 170 and image 60. So this is a bigger image, and that's a smaller image, right? This, I think this image is a height of 170, and this is an image with a height of 60. Um, but, but really, both of these are a string. So these are just the URL to the image. So, you know, we're going to use that URL to make a, um, a URL session like and a data task to load it, okay? So let's see if we can do that here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know, let URL, and I'm inside this, you know, if let here where we made the movie. We could make a function to do this, and that would probably be a good idea, but I'll leave that abstraction and kind of, code optimization to you, and we'll, I'll just put in the basic stuff here, right? Pardon me. So, uh, so what we'll do is we'll say, um, uh, let uh, URL equal URL, and then we want to make a URL from a string, right? And our string will come from movie. Maybe I'll load the 170 image, right? It's the detail view. Might as well see all the details, right? And then what we'll do is we'll say um, let session equal URL session dot um, shared dot um, data task with URL. And I think what we want is we want... Um, this one right here with data task, with URL, and completion handler, because this will tell us when the process is complete and pass us the data, right? So we'll choose this one, and uh, let me move that out of the way. And then we'll put our URL here, right? Because that's we'll take this guy and put him over here. And then our completion handler is the method, just like we had in the uh, movie manager, you know, it receives three parameters and returns nothing. If this is selected here, you can just hit return and it'll kind of type it out for you, right? It'll put the curly brace in there and stuff, right? So this is where our code goes. Um, we need to fill in a couple things here. So essentially, this is a variable that will receive data optional. So we'll type data there. And then this will be a response from the server. We'll type response there. And then this is an error object in case there's an error on our computer, right? So on our phone might generate an error. This might be a, an error from the server. And this is the data that we loaded if, if it works correctly, okay? And then now we'll deal with the data. Why don't we just do a quick if let here. We'll say, hey, um, if let data equals data. And now we check data to make sure that it's not nil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to make an image and then assign that image to our image view. So an image view can display an image, but we have to actually make an image from data. So what we'll do is we'll say let image equal UI image. And then I'll type the first parentheses there, and it gives me all of the all of the the, the initializers, right? And we want this one here that's initialized with data. Okay, so we'll say data here. So now we've got our image. And then what we'll do is we'll say um, self dot image view dot image equals the image that we just created here on the line, the previous line. Okay. 
And then this has some problem. I'm missing something here. Oh, I guess I guess my URL is optional here. We could do an if let with that. Why don't we just unwrap it with the exclamation point here? Um, you know, we could add some error checking on this. Probably would be smart. Um, but we'll just do it like that for now. And now we got one more thing to do. We haven't used the session and we created the data task, but we haven't actually run it yet. So um, remember, the data task starts here and ends here, like this whole block goes together. So right below this, I'm going to say session.resume. Okay, and that will actually, you know, after we've created the session, this actually tells the session to start loading. So resume is a little kind of a funny word. It really seems to me like this should be called like start, right? So uh, so we'll we'll do that, right? Um, and then let's give it a test, right? So we'll uh, we'll run our our code here and see what happens. So I'll click on Ghostbusters. Oh, my image isn't loading. Let's do a quick test, right? Um, oh wait, uh, I have an error here in the console. It says uh, URL JSON app blah, blah blah. Transport security is blocked clear text HTTP. So, you know, when you get this error, this is a thing on the phone. It doesn't let you load um, uh, addresses from an HTTP address. So the image here must have an HTTP address. Sometimes this happens on servers too. Like you may have an HTTPS address, which is okay and would load, but for some reason your Wi-Fi or your network connection just doesn't allow a secure connection and you'll still see this. So we can disable that for testing. So what we'll do, what we'll need to do in this case is we'll have to go to our our um, files here and look for info p list. So I'll go to info p list and then in here there's this thing it says app transport security and we'll have to have allow arbitrary loads. For some reason, if we have allow arbitrary loads in web views and this one, then it doesn't work. I'm going to delete the second one. Let's just wait. I don't want to click on that. I want to click on, actually, I want to get rid of that and get rid of this one. So we just have to have app transport security settings and then allow arbitrary loads. Let's give it a try now. So hopefully that'll fix it, right? Let's click on Ghostbusters again. Oh, it's still not working here. Let me see what's going on there. Um, yeah, I'm still getting this error. Yeah, and it says can be configured via your, your info p list, but I did I did configure it right. Um, let's uh, let's let's check that one more time. So I got it here. Allow arbitrary allow. Oh, you know what? It says no. I made uh, I'm an idiot, right? So this actually has to say yes. Let's switch that to say yes, and then give it one more try. Okay. So there, I wasn't paying attention. Like that text is so small, it's hard to read. Um, let's see here. One more try. So we'll go to Ghostbusters again. Oh, look, and there are the image loads, right? Let's go to Independence Day. Oh, Independence Day loads. Bad moms bad moms, right? Um, Cafe Society. Yeah, so I think that's working. So hopefully that works for you guys too. Um, maybe in the next video we'll cover like some storyboard stuff and talk about how we can get the image to be in proportion and kind of add some other constraints here to make this look a lot better. So thanks for watching and uh, good luck.